Hey everybody, Cajun Coin Hunter here with you today. This evening, I should say, aka Boudreaux. Oh, and I, no hats on. Got the visors on today. Uh, I was making up some leads for the the new uh, meter. No. Uh, vacuum tube voltmeter. Got that fixed. I think. Okay. I think. Uh, I got new parts in it. I got new caps in it. Uh, except for cap number two, which was a, a ceramic disc cap. Uh, I got some new ones here somewhere right here. And we got it in the other day. Right here. I've got a Order from DigiKey, not a sponsor. Right there. That's uh, 0 0.005 or 0.05. At 1,000 volts. Let me see here. Uh, no, that's a 0.02. Okay. Uh, and. Okay, these are point. These are five thousand picofarads right here. Okay, and this, these are two. Both of them that go in. I forget which. I think it's a point oh two that will go bad in those meters. And this is a twenty mega ohm resistor. Twenty million ohms. Yeah, half a watt. One percent tolerance on these. One percent, not five percent. And. That's known to go out on those meters, according to uh, Mr. Wizard himself. Uh, another project right there. One KC tone generator. I got a couple of voltage regulators for Galaxy and Connex radios. Uh, you can't find the originals that came in them anymore, so I got the tip 36 C's. Okay, that's what those are, tip 36. 25 amp, okay. Those radios ain't never going to draw 25 amps, okay? So you ain't got to worry about that. Uh, let me show you here. Okay, this was one of them that was in that meter. Right here. That is a .047 microfarad and 400 volts. And I got, okay, I got the other capacitor, the bag put up. And this was a 10 microfarads at 200 volts, I think. Yeah, 200 volts. But I put a 400 volt or a 450 in it. Okay, the, the most common ones, but 10 microfarads. I had some 10 microfarad capacitors. Uh, Rubicon, actually, Rubicon caps. That's most all I use. Rubicon, Nishikon, and Panasonic. And that's, you know, Panasonic and I was for audio. They make other ones too, but a lot of the audio files are like Panasonic capacitors in their equipment uh, when they get it recap when they do it themselves so you know when somebody, somebody brings me a stereo, home stereo I'm putting Panasonic's in there you know or Nishikons you know it depends on what they want if, if they don't care I'm putting Nishikons or Panasonic and it doesn't have nothing to do with the price you know because they both quality caps Rubicon too anyway these little bitty things right here will not go they, they will not hardly fit in that meter, in that vacuum tube volt meter. It takes these tight, four millimeter, okay, four millimeter. But these are too short. All right, now, I'll show you what I got here. This is a set of leads I made for it, but this is for audio work, okay? So that's a three and a half millimeter plug. And here is the lead. See how long these are? Man, these fit perfect in there. I mean, they go in like it's made for it, okay? And it is made for it, <laughs> you know? So, anyway, that one in there, oh, and that is turned on. You know, you can see the light. And that is 110. It's a 110 volt unit because they got tubes in there. So, anyway, and it's on AC volts right now, and there's negative DC volts, positive DC volts, okay, ohms, which this should be over here, okay, needles over to the right hand side, uh, and here's your other, uh, your ranges right here, okay, and then, uh, and that's AC and ohms on this side, 
And this one right here is DC, okay? Batteries, uh, uh, DC voltage in a radio, what have you. This is a high impedance meter, so. And it, man, this thing is in mint condition. Electron Man seen it uh, in one of my live panels. He was in the panel, and he was like, man, boo, or Cajun. He said, man, that thing is in mint condition. I'm like, yeah, he says. You know, he has one. Now, I, I don't think it's exactly this model right here, but this one, I think this one was made in 1959 or 1960, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, there's the original RCA battery. This is RCA, Volt Omis. The original RCA battery, C battery, soldered in from the factory, is in this unit, and it still has a voltage on it. Okay. I'm going to change that, okay? I got some back. I got some Rayovacs, okay? That I uh, got from Walmart. Uh, and anyhow, I'm going to change that. All right, let's get on with the video. I'm, I'm making leads for this. This is the purpose of the video. I was halfway making the leads, okay? Uh, not quite halfway. Almost. <laughs> I got two of the uh, jacks soldered on. I mean the yeah the uh, plugs soldered on. Oh, let me show you what I'm doing with. It. Okay. Um, these, okay, these are the safety ones. Okay, now I gotta cut this shroud off right here. I gotta cut that off so it'll fit in here because this will not go in here like a standard, you know, safety type. Okay, it'll fit right there. Now I could have changed these if I could find some good quality ones, which. Uh, Maybe DigiKey has them. I no idea, and I don't know if they'll fit in that unit or not. But if I can't find them, hey, well, good deal. But anyway, I'm making a set of leads. I won't have to do it. I already have these. And what I did, uh, I cut the shroud off, as y'all could see. I cut that off right, right there. Uh, just, okay, like that. It, safety non-safety but there's no voltage on this okay no voltage so that's what we're doing <laughs> making leads for this building leads homemade leads handmade leads and i tell you what and i'm using 14 gauge silicone wire it's soft it's supple it will not it will not uh kink won't go hard in the winter uh, like regular uh, electric wires. It won't get stiff in the winter. Hard, stiff, whatever. Somebody's going to take that out of context. Pat Paulson or one of them guys from the gang there. Uh, yeah, there's two more. I got two there. I got two there. So I got two more here. I already got these soldered on. So we're going to just show you the process of uh, making some new ones. And let's see what I got. I only got enough for one lead left. Just one. No. One side. Man, I don't know why. I made Johnny Best a set. Before he even made my own, I made Johnny Best a set because he needed a set. And I got these that go on there. Like this. These are needle point, man. You got to be careful. I mean, I'm talking about needle sharp. These are like for pin backs or whatever. You know, back tracking, you know, back pinning in uh, plugs, connectors, like on the car. You know, that's Johnny needed them for that. So, anyway, uh, right here, these uh, plug right in. But, let me, I guess. I don't have a uh, one. Yeah, I do. Yeah, let me take one out of my, my little imitation fluke. That's like a fluke right there. Okay, same same exact thing almost. All right, four millimeter safety. There you go. Mine are straight though. You know, straight out, not at a ninety. I do have some of these nineties. Uh. Oh, here they are, right here. So what I could do, I could take, I could I could take these 90s and put on here, 
instead of the straight, but uh, this always stands up. So I need the straight ones. It, it never lays down like this, okay? And you can put the 90. It always stands up, so I gotta have the one that's straight. Now, or I can cock them out sideways, and then, and if that meter's next to something on the shelf, that ain't gonna work. So, never mind on that. Anyway, boom. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What's good about these? Having these, you can put anything you want that has a four millimeter jack on it right there. All right. Now, that's enough of that. Let's uh, let's get busy. Right. I mean, God did that. Oh, okay, that's for this. Which that will go on there, or one just like it. And I get those from AliExpress, okay? I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with AliExpress. They're probably familiar. Uh, AliExpress, I'll, I'll put a link to that store in there. And AliExpress is a trusted company, okay? Uh, been dealing with them for a long time. I was like, man, I hate to, you know, give my credit card to somebody in China. But it's a store. You know, it's a Chinese uh, Amazon is what it is. And once you get to know the stores, you know, which store you're dealing with, like this store, that's a very trusted store. Been in business with uh, AliExpress for that long. You can get those from Amazon, too. You can get those from Amazon. But y'all know me. I'm a cheapskate. All right. Let's get busy. Okay. Already got a red and a black. Right here. I didn't even cut the wire. Look here. 14 gauge. All right. Didn't even cut the wire. Still on the rolls inside. There's two rolls inside this box. And that's how, that's how I unspool them like that. Pretty swift, eh? Yeah. There you go. The spools are just laying in there, and they just roll out. Now, let's see how long to make these things, okay? Uh, let me take this set of leads. These are professional leads here. These are not cheap leads that came with another meter. These are bought. These are bought afterwards. And yeah, i tell you what. They were cheap on AliExpress. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Uh, where's my covers? Uh, they don't. Alright. Put this over here. Get these untangled. Come on, you. Okay, I didn't, I should have just met him, but should have had this already done. But it don't matter. Okay, and that don't matter neither. See that? Inch and a quarter difference, I think. See how accurate I am. <laughs> it's in a quarter, baby. That's right. That's right. It's in a quarter to the T. That don't matter. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, strip these. AliExpress, eight bucks. Hell yeah, can't beat that. Wire stripper. Chinese brand name. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is gonna be a 30 minute video. What you doing, baby? Huh? 
Bam, bam, what you doing? Oh, he went to sleep. Sort of now went to sleep. I got it set for five minutes to go to sleep. So. Sort of right here. Ten these first. That why it's a little warm, yeah. You know what? Black wire fell out of the plant. There we go. Heat it up. Should have used my. 5.2 millimeter tip. And I'm not using any flux, so you got flux in the soda. That's what counts. I'm on 5.2 millimeter. Right here. Let's see if it'll fit in this notch. Not quite. Well, yeah, it'll fit in sideways. I'll make do with the, the 2.4 millimeter chisel tip I got. Okay. Now, before I forgot, or I forget, I need to put these on. Yeah. The dog, the dog is wondering who the heck I'm talking to. Who are you talking to, Daddy? I know you ain't talking to Johnny. You talking to Johnny? Yeah. Nope, not talking to Johnny. Not, not, not this late at night, anyway. All right. Now, I could. Let me do this. What you do? You push down on that. Just snap that in, boy. And that sucker's hard too. It's hard. See if I can get a grip on it. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Man, that was. Hey, when them things are snapped in, they are snapped in. You want to play hell getting them out of this case right here. So if you got a tough one to pull out of a meter or one of them devices, you ain't got to worry about that wire coming out right there. Nope. Anyway, okay. Got that one on. I need to... I didn't have to do that. I got that one on. Don't forget to put your your uh, covers on first. Good boy. If you forget, you gotta unsolder. Unsolder your stuff. Okay. Now I gotta prep these. I gotta prep these jacks. I got my little grinding pen, my little grinding apparatus on it. Just gonna okay. And one. I'll get that coating off of there. It helps. You don't need to do it, but it helps.
Got all kind of different tips on that thing. Got that from AliExpress too. And a lot of electronic guys use those things. A lot of electronic guys. Oh, here's the other one. Okay. Leave that in that vise. See if I can get y'all a little bit closer. I don't want to make y'all see sick. All right. I wish I could zoom in on this, but I can't. It says I can't zoom in uh, in this mode, in video mode. I'm like, wow. Man, really? All right. Uh, let me get my soldering station a little boost. All I do is turn the knob on it up like that, the encoder knob, and it. I got it set for 400. So, I'm just gonna stick my tip in there. Yeah. Let that heat pass in there. for that one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just drop that right there because I ain't touching that. I'm not a couillon. <laughs> Hell no. Look like I need to make some more solder up. Twist some more. And I do that with that, that grinding pin. I sure do. I got a little hook I made from a, a light shop light hook. You know, the hook and chain that comes with a shop light to attach to the ceiling. Yes, I did. Okay. Do I have any more solder made up, twisted up? Probably not. So, I guess, let me, uh, where is my saw? Oh, I knew I got it from the workbench over there. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I got all the solder I need, so I'm just gonna break off a little piece. This is point, point zero, this is Angel Hair Fine Solder. This is Kester. Kester Solder brand. This stuff is finer than Angel Hair. And I ain't talking about Angel Hair Pasta. I'm talking about a real Angel Hair. And I'm not going to say what Mr. BBI said. I'm too religious for that. Anyway. He's a good fella. I know he says it all in fun, but I don't want I don't want the archangel to strike me down. What is this? Let's see. That is point zero one five. Not five one five. I mean even doubled that's some thin stuff. Okay. Now Now my wires are ready. I got my uh I don't have these on. Okay, that's the black ones. I'm gonna do this before I forget. I'm gonna put this one on the right way. And then 14 gauge, see this can take some 12 gauge wire here too. But 14 is good enough, man. This wire is good for 600 volts and uh 200 degrees. I think it's more than that actually, more than 600. Anyway, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be doing anything over 700 volts in here. Uh, that's, you know, uh, voltage of uh, tube-type equipment. You know, it could get high, 700, 800, but most of the time it's 400. Uh, okay, let's do this. Probably do it two ways. Heat this up.
You know what? I show Donnie. Donnie wanted to see this in action. He had saw it in action one time. Yeah, buddy. That torch made a quick job of that. And that sucker's still hot, too. Yeah, man. Okay, now, for those that said, hey, you burnt your insulation. No, it just made a little bitty mark. But I tell you what, that was hotter than 200 degrees, too. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And that's going to be covered up anyway. All right. There you go. Boy, that took the weekend out of the project right there. Let me tell you something. Man. Make sure that's on, all, all on there right. Yep, there you go. Okay. Let's do this one with the solder now. Celsius, which it goes up to 500. But I'll just do it like that. Now, when that thing gets hot enough, like that, it's gonna melt that solder, which it did, melt that solder on that wire. And I wasn't even close to that wire. It was just in inside of there a little bit. When that whole adapter jack got hot, it melted the wire, the solder on the wire. All right, there we go. Now, it, with a torch or with a soldering iron? That's a case jar I got. K-S-J, K-S-G-E-R. Tester. I was thinking, say, man, I think I forgot to put my thing, my cover on, but I did. There it is, right there. All right, and voila, there it is. I don't, I don't know, thirty inch, uh, thirty two inch lead, something like that. Let's see what it is. Oh, gee, oh, hell no. That thing's uh, four foot three, something like that. Four foot three, three and a half. That thing don't look no four foot. Then it is, I guess. Anyway, if I were to measure them, I would have measured them at 38 inches. For some reason, I like 38. Oh, but. Hmm. Snap. One time. There we go. It's got a little bit sticking out. Come on. Can't get used to that reverse angle. Got a little bit sticking out, but I'll uh, I'll get that. Go in some more. Which it don't matter. There it is. Yeah, man, them things are hard to get in there. But there we go. We have us a nice set of leads for the, the uh, AC vacuum tube volt meter. There we go. I can use anything that's... Oh, that... Yeah, I just put that in there a little bit more. All right, let me put this one in there. See if it 
if it goes flush. Not quite. Not quite flush. Watch this. Yeah. That's flush. And it's inside. That's a safety. Safety plug. See there? Can't touch it. There's no bare metal. Can't touch it. In case you plug this into something that does have voltage, some of these got voltage. Some of some equipment has voltage on these things, like old old ham radios, uh, World War II radios and stuff. Man, you, there were certain places you did not touch, and that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, it, it was like that, like mic jacks, uh, antenna outputs. You didn't want to put your hand on antenna output while you were keyed up. No, there was electricity right there. Yeah, buddy. Anyway, there we go. Got this, and this one's going to go in, but you know what? I got to cut this off. So let's do that right quick. Oh, and y'all notice I'm still not smoking. Smoke free. 10 weeks, 11 weeks. Uh, I think it was Father's Day. Father's Day. So, and we're at the end of the month. So, Father's Day was the middle of the month. Two and a half months ago. 10 weeks. Yeah, buddy. All right, there we go. Oh, and I already checked for voltage on this one. <laughs> There's no voltage down here. I already checked that. If there was, something would have been wrong with it. Anyway, 14 gauge leads, homemade, uh, quality, silicone wire, you know, 14 gauge. Yeah, buddy. There it is. All right. All I got to do is snap my black on, uh, my black Kuvaz on covers, snap those on, and uh, it's real. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. Probably 30 minutes long. Yeah, 33 minutes by the time I get done with it. All right. Y'all know the routine. It's good being north of the grass. Y'all stay safe. Be that way. Be that way. Stay safe. And as always, love, peace, and crackling grease. Catch y'all later at Plutop.